Study says lawmakers from both parties are using political funds to live in luxury. As KXAN Washington correspondent Drew Petramu reports, the spending is legal, but reform advocates are pushing for change. $300,000 at an upscale D.C. steakhouse, nearly a half million at a social club for Republicans, and more than $400,000 to the Washington Nationals for tickets, event space, and catering. All expenses paid by political donors. Lawmakers are public servants. They're not supposed to be raising money to pay for their own lavish lifestyle. Michael Beckel is with the advocacy organization Issue One, which just released a report detailing five years of spending by so called leadership PACs. They were developed in the 1970s as a way for politicians to provide funds to candidates and causes they support. In recent years, only 45% of the money that leadership PACs have spent has gone to other candidates or other political groups. Instead, the study found much of the money is being used to fund lavish lifestyles for politicians and their families. We found one expenditure where a hotel was paid for overlooking, you know, ancient ruins in Greece. The practice is legal. The Federal Election Commission bars politicians from using their own campaign funds on personal expenses, but Beckel says it hasn't applied the standard to leadership PACs. The rules on the books say that leadership PAC money can be spent for almost anything. The study's authors want that to change. They are calling on Congress and the FEC to rein in the rules for leadership PACs. In Washington, I'm Drew Petromo. Texas state campaign finance laws are very loose. There is no limit to how much money you can give to a campaign, and those politicians can use that money for other purposes if they do not use it for directly a election campaigns and that is different for Texas federal elections like members of Congress that limit is twenty seven hundred dollars per donation so that's why politicians create create these packs which have no donation limits there are a few rules about what they can use it on and it's hard to tell who's donating the dark money